Welcome back to White Coat Medicine Talks. This is Dr. David Cruz and today we want to start something new. We're going to start a series called Ask the Doctor and Dr. Ornella and myself decided that it was important for you all to get your information that you want, that you all want to hear. So we're going to take either questions that you all send or questions from our patients or scenarios that happen with our patients and then discuss that with you so that you can have a better understanding of what's going on. So today, I'm going to talk about Bell's palsy. The other day, a patient called my office and said that she had gone to the emergency room and been diagnosed with Bell's palsy and she needed to come in to see the doctor. She wasn't given much treatment at that time, um, but when she came to my office the following day, I looked into the room and from a distance, uh, I could tell you exactly that she did not have Bell's palsy. So I walked into the room already with the concern that she had had a stroke. So my first thing is I looked at her and I said, hello, how are you doing today? And I said, ma'am, you do not have Bell's palsy. You have had a stroke. And so we went on ahead and talked about that. Now Bell's palsy is when you get nerve paralysis of your seventh cranial nerve. It usually just happens on one side of your face. So a lot of people tend to wake up in the morning and suddenly they cannot move their lip on one side, their cheek on one side, their, they can't open their eye very good or they can't close their eye and they can't lift their eyebrow either. So it paralyzes the whole face on one side. Very unusual for it to happen to both sides at the same time, but it does happen in some instances. Uh, not very often though. However, you know, in this patient, she had a little bit of a droop on her mouth at the time when I saw her. And in questioning her and telling her that she had had a stroke, then she started mentioning, oh yes, I feel that my leg is a little weak and I have a little trouble swallowing. So we immediately got the MRI, which validated the stroke that was there. And we treated that appropriately. However, you know, it's very important to know the signs and symptoms uh, from a Bell's palsy to a stroke and differentiate both. Just remember that a Bell's palsy episode is your whole side of the face is paralyzed. Not one, not the bottom, not just the top, the whole side. That would be what Bell's palsy is. Now, how do we treat that? We went, go on ahead and give a few things because the etiology of, of how it starts is not really known. They think it may be viral, so, or you know, some swelling of the nerve somehow, some way. We give steroids to decrease the swelling, and we give antivirals as well sometimes, and those tend to help. In addition to that, we put people through therapy so that they can start uh, getting their muscles working again. It's very important for that first month to really hit it hard and to be massaging that face, doing the exercises that we give you when you go to clinic so that you can understand what you have to do. It's also very important to maybe use some saline eye drops uh, so that your eye stays moist and doesn't dry up. A lot of times at night you have to tape your, clo your eye closed so that it doesn't open up and dry up at night as well. So it's very important to do those things. The good thing is that 95% or, or more get better within that first month and most of the signs and symptoms of the Bell's palsy go away. There is some that take up to six months to get a little bit better and some people get a little residual effects over time and they still have a little asymmetry in their face over time. But I wanted to mention that today because I thought that was important. That was a, uh, something that I saw in the clinic and I just wanted to point that out. So make sure that you understand the difference and if you all have any questions, make sure to address them here on YouTube to either Dr. Ornedo or myself, and we will be talking soon. Take care, you guys.